Hey there everybody. Uh, so today I had the opportunity to install one of these new SRAM uh, Eagle Access XL1 component kits. Uh, so anyway, just uh, tear into this box here and see what all comes with it there. Got a few little directions, quick start guides. Uh, and that's our battery there for the derailleur. Uh, we got our shifter there. Just uh, smaller than I originally thought it was going to be from some of the pictures I saw originally. And got the XX1 rainbow colored chain. We got our crank, or the left side there, anyways. And then the multi tool. Little, I don't know, that's kind of a cool touch. I don't know, a little extra. So that's the first layer of parts. Second, we got a little uh, mount for the um, shifter. Got our USB cable charger, and then got the other side of the crank. We got our little pulley height, little gauge there. Got the derailleur itself there. It's pretty sweet. Uh, so this is the uh, X01 kit there. So anyway, got our Eagle cassette. Uh, uses the uh, XD style driver because we've got our tin tooth small cog there. Um, so yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, so we got to basically to get our, wanted to just do a bench test here, make sure everything was functioning correctly. So basically first you'll pull off the little, those little red covers off the battery and the derailleur. There's that little tab there that it's on the bottom that engages into a little hooks into a little pocket and then you'll flip down your little lever you're hooked up and ready to go at this point um, so upon shifting it we're not paired together which it's super simple to do you basically just hold the buttons in and you'll get a kind of a rapid flash or I don't know I didn't do it quite right here you hold the derailleur button down you get a rapid flash then hold the uh, shifter down there sinks right up just takes a minute to do so anyway got it all working here just kind of testing it out making sure it's all functioning correctly and everything and uh, yeah so went ahead and just pulled the battery off at this point <clears throat> to kind of top it off I guess and um, while I'm installing the rest of the components. So basically that's the little charger. It'll be an orange light as it's charging and then that orange light will turn green when it's fully charged. So it only took probably 15-20 minutes to top that thing off all the way. Uh, so anyway that's the little the red gauge there is the one that comes with the standard mechanical eagle stuff and then this purple one is the one that comes with the new access components there so it looks like it's about I don't know maybe two millimeters different a little further away than the standard one uh, so that's I just use the uh, you know we pulled the standard shifter off and then this one just mounts right in its place there off the uh, standard SRAM brake lever and got all that hooked up super super intuitive it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be but uh it's kind of cool you just operate it with your thumb there or if you're getting in a sprint type position you know into the race you can hit that downshift it with your just your index finger knuckle there it's pretty cool anyway we got our XD driver there get our cassette all mounted up just pretty you know that's all basically the same you know unless you're not familiar with the XD style driver there it's basically the the stalls and everything the same as a normal cassette just doesn't have the lock ring it's just kind of built in there um, but yeah got our cassette on and so we're ready to basically put it all together here um, yes yeah, so make sure you're, when you're attaching the derailleur it's the the little B tension screw the end of it's resting against the uh, derailleur hanger all the way there uh, so we got it all hooked up and I uh, you, you can adjust the uh, you know your basic starting position there with the uh, shifter. Get to that in a minute. But my 
V tension screw here was a little bit, the pulley was a little high up, so um, just tightened the V tension screw in. It's located right there, probably a turn or two, and it got us in a closer range. Basically, the teeth just want to cross over where that little line is there. So to get your, basically started in the position to where you want to be, I guess, to start, um, probably easy to do without the chain on, but you just hold that one, the small button in and then you can toggle back and forth um, and you can fine tune it's kind of like a barrel adjuster on a mechanical derailleur uh, but that's how you'll fine tune you know getting the each pulley directly over the gear you want to be in so we got our little time chart here um, so you got about 20 25 hours max on the little rechargeable batteries the 2032 batteries that's in the shifter you know three to twelve months when it's on green there so anytime you shift those little LED lights are going to come on and give you an indication of where your battery life is so it's super easy to check um, got everything all set up and now we're just setting the B tension screw or not the B tension but the high low limit screws uh, so I already got the low limit screw doing the high limit screw here so put it all the way down you're good to go uh, it's just taking her on a little shakedown run and uh, everything worked really well. Feels really smooth. Um, super clean cockpit without all the shift cables and such. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, basically what's involved in setting one of these up. It's um, Honestly, it's easier than a mechanical derailleur because you're not having to worry about running all those cables and everything. So. Now just got to find some little plugs to put in those all the holes in the frame there. So, anyways, hopefully uh, if you're setting one of these up yourself, you maybe found some tips or something helpful, or just interested to see what all this is this uh, shift system's about. Anyway, but um, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.